Well, I, they're okay. They're fine. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. Didn't melt them. Wasn't acid <laughs> rain. It's. Uh, we're we're okay. Oh, yeah. Lesson learned. I guess <laughs> I can't little. venture out into the rain. It looks like I'm gonna have to this week, whether I like it or not. Uh, I suppose so, unless you get yeah. everything done when, like today. You know what? So today, yeah, we're faring pretty well. We're getting a little break from it during daytime hours, unless you're in the North Bay, where you will see a few isolated showers at points today. Most of the rest of us are gonna see dry conditions until the evening tonight, when it kicks right back into gear. Kind of like what we saw last. Last night. Now, showers yesterday kicked up late afternoon, lasted until the early morning. We've dried back out now, though, which is going to help us out a whole lot on this morning commute. Good news for those of you getting out there. The bad news is, though, rainfall was here just a couple hours ago, so roadways are still wet. It's still slick out there, so don't take that as an invitation to leave for work late. You probably want to get there a little early, actually. Snow in the Sierra is going to fall very consistently over the next several days, so much so we've got feet of it piling up up there. Here in the Bay Area, a bit of a breather during daytime hours today. Let's time it all out for you. So right now, radar's looking really quiet. Futurecast does show spotty showers in the North Bay, though, through the late morning into afternoon. And look at we've got spots of heavy rainfall in there, too. Maybe even a few rolls of thunder. So the North Bay fairly active today, while the rest of us not looking at a whole lot, just a few isolated showers. The real rainfall that's going to get all of us gets here this evening, and that's pretty late, too, right around 11 p.m towards midnight. It's going to fire back up. We've got areas of orange and red on this map. These are heavy downpours offering up a whole lot of rain in a short period of time. That means we've got runoff on some of our roadways. Do expect some ponding out there. Those puddles of water in the middle of the streets could result in hydroplaning for our morning commute tomorrow especially. Pockets of rain through tomorrow morning's commute. This morning, a little slick. Tomorrow morning, though, it's still going to be actively raining on top of being slick out there. So tomorrow morning's drive is going to be a little trickier than what you've got right now. As for our future cast of rainfall totals, this afternoon Santa Rosa could see a half an inch, a quarter of an inch of rainfall, depending on where you're at in the North Bay. Some pockets of heavier rain towards the coast. Most of the rest of us, you see, not really getting much of anything. We'll save it for tonight and look at how much we'll see by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning. Half Moon Bay, Oakland, Hayward, Concord could see well over an inch to inch and a half of rainfall just tonight alone. As for the Sierra Nevada, we're not talking inches, we're talking feet. Four feet of snow possible at the highest of elevations. This is really going to snarl traffic on 50 as well as I-80. Not the next couple of days to be heading up there. Save those travels for later this week and into this weekend to enjoy that fresh snow. 50s and 60s for our highs today. It's a cool one. Hayward, Fremont, Oakland at 59. Antioch and Concord at 60 for your highs. Tomorrow, cold showers for voting day. I know that's not the best weather to be catching. Casting your ballots, but as long as you're prepared with the rain jackets, you'll be just fine. Wednesday, a little bit of shower activity during the morning, but starting to clear out. Thursday and Friday, you get a break and another chance of showers towards Saturday of this weekend. Raina? John, thank you for that. Well, we are slow.